Well, after bonding with President Biden at a campaign rally, this 13-year-old captured the hearts of many people with his Democratic National Convention speech, and now he is a published author. Yes, we're joined now by Braden Harrington, who says why it's time to use your voice this morning. Braden, so excited to talk to you. Can you take us back to when then-candidate Joe was walking down the line and you guys met? Tell us that story, man. Um, so... So we went to the campaign. We watched uh, what he was talking about. He had some really great topics that he felt needed to be addressed. And we, after the, after his address, after his whole address, uh, we went to meet him. And my dad said, "Hello, um, this. Hi, my name is Owen. This is my son, Braden, and he has a, a header. And um, we kind of just." He, he kind of just went from there. Like, he kind of just paused the world. He looked me straight in my eye, and he said, this is not to find you. And he gave me a bunch of compliments. Um, and I I broke down in tears because I never really felt this, like, this, like, heartfelt kind of thing. Yeah. And so I waited in his campaign room, in the back room where his, his campaign was, or his campaign people, his campaign managers were, and I waited for about like maybe an hour. And then he, we were just, we just went straight to a, a separate room where there were no like managers talking and all that stuff. And he kind of just told me what happened in his childhood and what brought him to like be who he is and he showed me a couple tips on how he deals with it and how he how he kind of grew out of it that is awesome and uh, Braden we're, we see the book uh, your book that is it's now published by Harper Collins sitting right behind you how cool is it to see a book that you wrote that tells your story um, and get it out there for other young people to be able to consume the same thing Um, it feels it feels amazing. Uh, I never really expected this to happen. Mm -hmm. I've never really expected to meet uh, a very important person, and I never really ex expected to be this like this kind of person. And it's really brought me to think about what I've done in my life and to think about like what's happened in the course of like a year or two. And um, it's really been amazing just to think that I'm going to, I published a book and it's, it's going to help millions. Yeah. Now you, uh, in the book, you say that stuttering is, is like your superpower. Uh, explain that for us. <laughs> um, so my mom came up with this kind of uh, term or this kind of thing um, like a month ago or two and she said your imperfections are your gifts and I've used that many times now in my interviews and um, places I go to for my book up there and um, I kind of just use that I use that in my book because it's like I had a lot of I had three friends to help me um, I had my parents I had my siblings, and I had my dog to help me there. That's so cool. You know, uh, I remember in your DNC speech, uh, then candidate Biden, you said about him, uh, I can't believe someone like me was vice president who is now president. I think there are going to be a lot of kids who are going to say, I can't believe someone who's like me wrote this very cool book. We're so proud of you, Braden. You did a great, great thing with this book. Thank you. All right, it's available through HarperCollins on shelves now as well as uh, online. Pleasure to talk to you, Braden. Keep it going, man. Keep it going. You're doing good stuff. Thank you. <laughs> A great young man. You kid. So